Welcome to this new video, Phoenix Decoded. The phoenix is an immortal bird associated with Greek mythology that cyclically regenerates and is born again. Associated with the sun, a phoenix obtains new life by arising from its ashes. Some legends say it dies in a show of flames and combustion, and others that it simply dies and decomposes before being born again. The origin of the phoenix has been attributed to ancient Egypt. So, is the phoenix just a legend or myth, or is it something else, or is there something more? This is what we are going to see in this decode. Phoenix is 36 in Chaldean matching element Krypton, that is 29 in Chaldean matching Yaldabaoth. Yaldabaos is the Demiurge, so we can conclude that the phoenix is a representation of the Demiurge. Phoenix is 91 in English ordinal matching element protactinium. Protactinium is a highly radioactive and highly toxic element. Phoenix and radioactivity are both 36 in Chaldean, showing the radioactive nature of the phoenix. The atomic mass of protactinium is 231, and in English ordinal we have the following expressions. The Lord is my shepherd. Computer generated dream. Radio frequency waves. And quantum technology. Note that the 231 gates is 91 in Chaldean, as well as Phoenix. And we have the same numbers in English ordinal and Chaldean for Phoenix and the 231 gates, 91 in English ordinal and 36 in Chaldean. The 231 holy gates are created by pairing each of the 22 letters of the Hebrew alphabet with one another until the 231 letters combinations are formed. Phoenix is 91 in English ordinal matching the following expressions the Ram God, battery, death machine, and dark city. The Ram God refers to Osiris, and we saw that in my video about Vishnu. 91 appears at the 42nd digit of the golden ratio, matching the following expressions in Chaldean. Trojan horse. So this shows that this mechanism was a trap or deception. Sweet dreams, dream factory, dreams in digital, lucid dreaming, samsara's wheel, reincarnation, eternal life, the architect, so the phoenix is the architect, wonderland, land of Oz, this is where we are, electric dream, so we see we have a lot of expressions mentioning dreams, soul stealer, this mechanism is stealing our souls. Sound ritual. The dead sun. So the phoenix is the dead sun. Deep space and Vitruvian man. Phoenix is 36 in Chaldean, matching the following expressions. Baphomet. Scarab beetle. Zirconium. So scarab beetle is the symbol of zirconium. Dreamworks. Saturn cycle. Prison grid, spider web, green twin, that is Osiris, sacred spiral, imposter, so this matches very well with the Trojan horse, green light, emitted by the green twin, the voice, death ritual, radioactivity, the 231 gates we saw before, scorpion, Digital dreams, so again a reference to the dreams. The magnet, overlord, accelerator, this is the particle accelerator. Osiris soul, rebooting, and jack diamonds, this is a reference to the hijack. 77 appears at the 36 digit of the golden ratio. And with, 30, with 77, we have the particle accelerator, the black cube of Saturn, 
and the never-ending story that refers to reincarnation. 91 is the 13th triangular number, and in the tarot the 13th card is the death card. Note that in Chaldean, urn is 13, and what happens to the phoenix when it burns, it turns into ashes and then is reborn from its ashes. Phoenix in Chaldean is 36, and this is linked to the lizard card, so could it be that um, reptilians are operating this uh, system, this phoenix system? That's a possibility. So here we have different expressions matching 36 in Chaldean. Scarab beetle, Baphomet, Phoenix, and Zirconium. Scarab beetle is the symbol of element Zirconium. The scarab beetle represents death and regeneration. And this is exactly what the Phoenix does. It dies and then is reborn. Zirconium has an atomic mass of 91, and Phoenix is 91 in English ordinal. So not only does Phoenix match Scarab Beetle and Zirconium with the 36 in Chaldean, but it also matches the atomic mass of element Zirconium in English ordinal. The Ram God, that is Baphomet, also matches the atomic mass of Zirconium. So here again you have Baphomet and Scarab Beetle and Zirconium being 36 matching in Chaldean, and the Ram God being 91 matching the atomic mass of Zirconium. Scarab Beetle is 93 in English ordinal, matching element Neptunium, that means faked or artificial tune. And of course, we have Saturn being 93 in English ordinal. So you can see that those three elements, those three pictures, the Scarab Beetle, Baphomet and the Phoenix are exactly the same thing. This is a slide in which you can see that the Ram God is Osiris' soul, also called his Ba, and he was worshipped in the city of Mendes. This aspect of Osiris was referred to as Banebjedet or Banebjed. Osiris was also called Lord of the Sky and Life of the Sun God Ra. Since the Ba was associated with power, and also happened to be a word for ram in Egyptian, Banebjed was depicted as a ram or as ram-headed. In the next slide, I will put what I commented in my video. If you look for information about Osiris, in Wikipedia you will find that Osiris was associated with the ram god, and he was worshipped in the city of Mendes, hence the god of Mendes and he was portrayed with a crook and a flail that are the instruments of a shepherd. The Ram God is 91 in English ordinal, matching element Protactinium, and it has an atomic mass of 231. In English ordinal, you have the following expressions with 231. The Lord is my shepherd. So here again, we have this connection to the shepherd. Computer-generated dream. So we can see here that the computer is the one that generated this state of dream. Or the computer is the god of sleep. Radio frequency waves. Everything in this matrix is based on radio frequencies. And quantum quanto, uh, technology that is a reference to the quantum computer. With 91 in English ordinal, we have the word phoenix. And uh, we can conclude that the phoenix is another representation of Osiris. And when the elite do rituals rising the phoenix, all they want to do is having Osiris resurrected. It is a resurrection ritual. We had, of course, the ram god being 35, linked to the life spiral, the goblin, the wizard... Uh, that are, of course, Osiris, the dream spirit, that is the god of sleep or the sleeping god. And, of course, uh, we had seen that it was linked to the cyclotron and 
hypnagogia and REM sleep that are those, uh, the state of dream we are under when we are in the matrix. So now the God of, uh, the God of Mendes is 157 in English ordinal, matching the following expressions. The good shepherd. So here again we have the confirmation that the goat of Mendes is the good shepherd that is Osiris. Then dreams control. Trapped in a machine. The father of lies. And living on video and, uh, we are living inside a video game. The matrix game of life. Now, the goat of Mendes is 17 Chaldean, matching quantum technology that we had uh, with the 231 in English ordinal. Then we have the matrix code system. So Osiris is the matrix code system. Then we have what is the phoenix. So here notice that we have a, again this connection to the phoenix. And the keeper of time, and of course we are in a time matrix. 70 can be found at the 64th digit of the golden ratio, that is phi. And 64 is linked to element gadolinium, that is the god element, showing us that Osiris is the god of the matrix. And uh, the atomic mass of gadolinium is 157 matching the goat of Mendes and the Good Shepherd. Here we can see that Osiris' soul and Phoenix are the same because they are both 36 in Chaldean. And we've just seen that Osiris' soul was the Ram God worshipped in the city of Mendes, hence the goat of Mendes. And the god of Mendes is Baphomet, Baphomet being 36 in Chaldean too. Phoenix and the Ram god are both 91 in English ordinal, showing that they are the same, confirming what we had in the former slide with Osiris' soul, that is the Ram god, and Phoenix being 36 in Chaldean. So this is just another layer confirming this. When we ask the question, what is the phoenix, we have 70 in Chaldean. The goat of Mendes is also 70. And the goat of Mendes is the ram god. 70 appears at the 64th digit of the golden ratio, matching element gadolinium that has an atomic mass of 157. The goat of Mendes is 157. So the code is confirming this in English ordinal and in Chaldean and through alchemy. In this slide, I have included a screenshot that I took from one of Karen's last videos. And it says the following. Phonetically, fire is also encoded as fior, which would mean the golden ratio of life. I have extensively covered this topic in my video about Vishnu, so if you haven't watched it, I suggest you, you take a look at it, that you will be able to connect some dots about this topic. So phi is the 21st letter of the Greek alphabet and represents the golden ratio, otherwise known as the divine proportion. Phi has a numerical value of 500, which links us with the mythology of the risen phoenix that is resurrected after 500 years from its own ashes, the living feeding the dead. The Roman numeral for 500 is D, and D is the musical tone or note, Re, which is the dead eagle, phoenix, Saturn, that is resurrected. So Saturn is 21 in Chaldean, and it is linked to this letter phi, that is the 21st letter of the Greek alphabet. Concerning Re, in alchemy we have this element, Rhenium, 
that have these R and E letters, and it is the 75th element of the periodic table. 75 starts at the 47th digit of pi, matching the number of the tetragrammaton. So here we can see that Saturn is the tetragrammaton. In Greek, fire is pyros, pyros, and um, pyros is 93 in English ordinal and 21 in Chaldean, and this matches the word Saturn in both ciphers, 93 and 21. So we can see that this fire from the phoenix is completely related to Saturn. The dead eagle is 77 in English ordinal and 77 can be found at the 36th digit of the golden ratio. Phoenix is 36 in Chaldean, so this is a confirmation that the dead eagle is the phoenix. And the dead eagle is 45 in Chaldean, matching the sun god Ra, black hole sun, the black hole, and Osiris the sun. And we also have the following expressions. Dreams factory, god of dream, and electric dreams, all of these are a reference to the god of dream, and Dreams Factory show that this is what produces uh, the dreams. Then we have the Light Trap, Moon Spell, Hacked Vessel, Soul Harvest, Possession, The Deceiver, We Are Clones, Age of Aquarius, The Star Saturn, so again the link to Saturn, the End Times, Hell on Earth, Holographic, Game of Life, Fallen Angels, Regeneration, Birth and Rebirth. So we can see this really is the description what, uh, of what the Phoenix is. Sins of Time, Pandora's Box, Mind Control, and Under a Spell. The eagle is 63 in English ordinal, matching element europium. And to me, europium means your opium, and you can clearly read opium in this name. And the god of sleep uses opium to make his sleeping spell. With 63 in English ordinal, we have helmet and yodhevave. Uh, my last video was about the helmet of salvation and showing how it mind controls people. And in Calgian with 63 we have particle accelerator, so it's always about CERN, black cube of Saturn, and trapped in a machine. The atomic mass of europium is 151, and 151 is the 36th prime number, so back to the phoenix, to Osiris, Sol, and Baphomet. But we also have the following words with 36, Scorpion, Saturn, Cycle, so always back to Saturn, Scarab Beetle, that is a representation of death and regeneration, so matching the phoenix, Prison Grid, Spider Web, Green Twin, that is Osiris. Sacred Spiral, we've just seen the spiral with the golden ratio. Dreamworks. Prison DNA. Radioactivity, we saw that at the beginning. Accelerator, so once again this particle accelerator. Digital Dreams, always the reference to dreams. The Magnet, Overlord and Imposter. The eagle is 31 in Chaldean, matching, once again, Scorpio. We had Scorpion in the last slide. Then we have the matrix, system bug, black hole, 
So we saw that before too. Light trap, control, the maze, the joker, poison, and I always speak about the poisonous frequencies, 56, that is element barium, the reality, Spartacus, hive mind, memories, hexagon, deceiver, and serial killer. So deceiver is very important. Um, I think we were lured into this matrix. And serial killer is what uh, the entity running this matrix is about. Then 31 appears at 137th digit of pi, matching the atomic mass of element barium. So barium is referred in both Chaldean and English ordinal. With 137 in English ordinal, we have the god of sleep. So once again, confirming that the phoenix is the god of sleep. Then the observer, hologram device, computer game, central unit, mind control, butterflies, and butterflies are a symbol of mind control, MK Ultra, spell casting, we are in a trance, who is Yodhe Vavhe, hamster wheel, this is the wheel of reincarnation, live forever through death and regeneration, Fibonacci spiral, so I spoke about it in my video about Vishnu. Metatron cube, the Archon's lie, matching the deceiver, and Eye of Horus. Now I will quickly speak about the ritual, the Phoenix ritual, that occurred during the Olympic Games in London 2012. London 2012 is 36 in Chaldean matching Phoenix, so no wonder they chose this year and this city to do this ritual. London 2012 is 79 in English ordinal matching element gold, and gold represents the sun. 79 appears at the 13th digit of Pi, and the 13th tarot card is Death. So this was a Death Ritual. 79 is the 22nd prime number, matching element Titanium. Recycle is 22. And the atomic mass of titanium is 47, that represents the tetragrammaton. Olympic Games is 43 in Chaldean, matching the spider medicine card, that represents the dummy urge. London 2012 is 36 in Chaldean, matching the word phoenix and 79 in English ordinal matching element gold that has an atomic mass of 196. In English ordinal we have the following expressions with 196. The Phoenix Reborn. So it is amazing how the code is showing the Phoenix Reborn and this ritual was all about uh, rising the Phoenix. Then we have gold harvest for God. So they are harvesting our energies for the god of this matrix, that is the phoenix, that is a particle accelerator, that is Osiris. Then we have reincarnation trap. In the next slides, I will show you two videos from Harry Potter, the Order of the Phoenix. Professor, sir, your bird, there was nothing I could do. He, he just caught fire. Oh, and about time too. 
He's been looking dreadful for days. Pity you had to see him on a burning day. Fawkes is a phoenix, Harry. They burst into flame when it is time for them to die. And then they are reborn from the ashes. Fascinating creatures, Phoenixes. I have no intention of going to Azkaban. Enough of this. Take him! So in the first video, we saw the Phoenix catching fire, burning and being reborn from its ashes. And in the second video, we could see Dumbledore being saved by the Phoenix and making one with the Phoenix. So this means that Dumbledore is the Phoenix. He doesn't own the Phoenix. He is himself the Phoenix. And if you look at Dumbledore, actually, is the typical representation of the God of the Bible. An old man with white hair and a long beard. So now his name is Albus Percival Verlfric Brian Dumbledore, and in Chaldean this is 126, that is the atomic mass of element iodine. And iodine is the Yod. The Yod is the yod he vav he the god of the Old Testament. Dumbledore is 42 in Chaldean, matching the architect also matching reincarnation, Trojan horse, the dead sun, and soul stealer. So the dead sun is the phoenix, as we've seen before. And soul stealer, well, this system is stealing our souls and consuming them to feed the god of this matrix. Albus Dumbledore is 57 in Chaldean, matching element lanthanum, that means to lie hidden. In English ordinal, we have the following words with 57. The Great Architect, Moonsoul Trap, Frequency Waves, The Time Vortex, the Truman Show, we are in a Truman Show, and he is the one watching. Who is the wizard? Well, Dumbledore is a wizard. Prince of the Air, this matches uh, the expression frequency waves because the Prince of the Air, of the power of the air, works through frequencies. Reincarnation Trap. So, it's not the first time in this presentation that we have the soul trap or the reincarnation trap. Hypnagogic trance. Saturn frequency. Murder by poison and opium poison. So, this is a reference to being poisoned by opium. And opium is what is used to make uh, the spell that the god of sleep uses. It's just an illusion. The earth light grid and time is a distortion. Now Dumbledore belongs to the Order of Merlin. And um, he received a prize by Leonard Spencer Moon. So it's interesting. Leonard is to me burning lion because in Spanish arder means to burn. And uh, Moon, while that is uh, very explicit. Now, 57 is linked to the tarot card that means Trapped and Limited. 
And this is how we are in this matrix. Dumbledore means bumblebee. Bumblebee is 34 in Chaldean matching element selenium that represents the moon. G.K. Rowling stated she chose the name Dumbledore, which is a dialectal word for bumblebee, because of Dumbledore's love of music, and she imagined him walking around humming to himself a lot. Well, this is Q's sounds like uh, the biggest BS she could have made up, because obviously she knew what it was all about. A bumblebee, yes, hums, and Saturn makes this humming noise. And obviously she knew that Dumbledore was representing Saturn when she created the character, with the phoenix and all the occult, uh, occult knowledge she's giving in the, in the books. And um, so there is a medicine card, number 44, that is called Hummingbird, and the Hummingbird is what I call the Saturn's woofer, because Saturn emits a low pitch sound that sounds like a humming. And this is why the sound of the universe is um, because of the humming. So, Hummingbird is 118 in English original, matching the word matrix, the matrix. 118 is the atomic mass of element sin that has the symbol of an hourglass. And Hummingbird is 37 in Calgen, matching the moon. And we also have the following words. False reality, low pitch, so, obviously, this refers to the frequency and the sound that Saturn is emitting. But I would say it is about Saturn's moon, Titan. Because we have the moon here and Bumblebee is 34 that uh, is linked to Selenium, the moon. Then we have Death Spiral that is linked to the phoenix, phi, the Fibonacci spiral. Then we have shepherd, and shepherd represents Osiris, and also the god of the New Testament. The Lord is my shepherd. Then we have the guardian, that is the guardian of the matrix, Alice in Chains. This is very interesting because Alice fell down the rabbit hole, found herself in Wonderland, and uh, the white rabbit also represents Saturn. So this could be representing our consciousness being trapped inside the matrix. Then we have black opium. This is the name of a, of a perfume. And um, this is linked to the god of sleep. Then we have the Sandman, again, a link to the god of sleep, and the Dreamer, third link. So, back to Hummingbird being card 44, we have the following expressions in Chaldean, Saturn Moon, so... Again, so this is the third reference to the moon in this slide. And uh, this is a confirmation it is about Saturn moon, not our moon. Then we have the dead twin. This is Osiris, the green man, same thing. Death portal, vicious circle, this is pi. Gold current and gold currency that are, they are using us as a currency for the god of this matrix. To lie hidden, we had it in last slide with Lanthanum, also representing Dumbledore. 
and resident evil. So this means that what is inside this matrix has an evil nature. Here we can see that DreamWorks matches Phoenix because they are both 36 in Chaldean. On the logo of DreamWorks, you can see a boy fishing from the moon. So he's fishing for spirits and souls. And DreamWorks is like clockwork. It's uh, the fabric of dream what puts us asleep in this matrix. So this is, this is just confirming uh, that the moon is involved in this. And I think that the phoenix represents both the sun and the moon. The order of the phoenix is 238 in English original, matching the atomic mass of element uranium. Uranium represents the magnet. We can also find 238 in one of the atomic masses of element plutonium. And plutonium has the symbol of Shiva. There is a Shiva statue at CERN confirming the link between the phoenix and CERN. 238 can be found at the 16th digit of pi. And we have the following words with, t with uh, 16 in Chaldean. Hell, fire, fire is a representation of the phoenix and also a representation of hell. Dream, this is a reference to the god of dreams. Shiva, confirming the link to plutonium. And pirate, that is the hijacker of this matrix. 16 appears at the 40th digit of pi, matching element zirconium that has the symbol of the scarab beetle. The scarab beetle represents death and regeneration, so it is linked to the phoenix. And we had uh, the scarab beetle in phoenix being 36 in Chaldean. The order of the phoenix is 99 in Chaldean, matching element Einsteinium. This is a reference to Albert Einstein, and Albert Einstein is 153 in English ordinal, matching the following expressions. We live in a machine, the hourglass, the death portal, the golden ratio, the spiral path, and highway to hell. So I decoded the golden ratio in my video about Vishnu and the spiral path is linked to the synchrotron in CERN. And Highway to Hell, we can see this link to the spiral path in the movie Inferno with um, Tom Hanks. 99 appears at the 44th digit of pi and we have the following expressions with 44. The dead twin, that is Osiris, the green man, that is the same, the Dermiurge, Saturn moon, so again a confirmation we're speaking about the moon of Saturn, called Titan. Then we have vicious circle, this is Pi, and also represents the circle of reincarnation. Death portal again. Resident evil showing the evil nature of what's running the matrix. Destruction linked to Shiva. And biodigital matrix. And also infinity eight, that is the time loop we are stuck in. Quite a lot of books and novels have been written about Phoenix Rising. I have put pictures of a few of them.
The Rise of the Phoenix is 19 Chaldean, just like Lord of the Dead and Rebirth, and this is one of the titles given to Osiris. Ninety appears at the 76th digit of the Golden Ratio, and this number matches element Osmium that represents Osiris and the Wizard of Oz. Phoenix Rising is 167 in English ordinal matching element Erbium that has the symbol of an urn. Urns contain ashes and the Phoenix rises from its ashes. With 167 in English ordinal we have the following expressions. Energy harvest. So this matrix system is harvesting our energy. The spiral of death. Deep mind control. And this is a MK Ultra matrix. And the underworld. 167 is the 39th prime number matching element Ethereum that has the symbol of a satellite emitting orange waves. I spoke about this in my last video about the matrix game of life. So I will not cover everything again. But with 39, it's interesting to see that we have the black sun. And in this presentation, we've seen that the black sun is probably the phoenix. We also have interesting expressions with 39 in Chaldean, like artificial mind, mind parasite, the parasite. So it seems that this uh, phoenix is the parasite. And the phoenix is this satellite emitting those waves that put us in a hypnotic trance. We have Inception, so they are incepting programs in our minds. We have Computer and Time Loop, Father Time, that is Kronos, that is Saturn, and Stuck in a Box. Phoenix Rising is 51 in Chaldean, matching element Antimony, that has the symbol of the all-seeing eye. In Chaldean, we have the following expressions. Saturn dead twin. So, again, we see that there is a dead sun. But this dead sun is probably Saturn's Titan, Saturn's moon. This is why in the decodes we have Saturn and we also have the moon. Then we have the eye in the sky. The eye in the sky is linked to the symbol of antimony. We have the game creator, the shepherd, that is Osiris, radio frequency, dream transmitter, so those waves are the one creating the state of trance, Metatron's cube and Saturn time cube. So it is definitely linked to Saturn and time. 51 appears at the 48th digit of pi matching the following expressions. God of Dreams, Deus Ex Machina, The Soul Trap, Simulated Reality, we live in the simulation, Horror Movie, this is what's happening in this matrix, most people suffer traumas, Demonic Spirit, this is the nature of this entity running the matrix, we live in hell. Spiral trajectory. So once again, we have uh, this reference to the spiral because this spiral is created by the synchrotron. And hamster wheel, that is the wheel of reincarnation. So we see that um, this uh, mechanism is a soul trap and uh, it recycles us over and over through reincarnation, casting us in the hamster wheel. So according to everything that we've seen in this presentation, the phoenix is definitely linked to Saturn, Osiris, the Wizard of Oz, and apparently it is a dead sun, linked to CERN, and this needs to be reset. This is why they are speaking about the Great Reset, 
and uh, by the Great Reset they mean the Phoenix Rising. So I think this will come soon because they have done all those rituals about the Phoenix. They've shown this in movies and uh, in songs. I will be decoding a few songs um, that mention the Phoenix without mentioning it directly, but they do show the Phoenix rising or the death and rebirth of the Phoenix. So this was all for today. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.